So to those in the Congress of either party who understand the importance of passing GATT, I would simply say, stand up and be counted. Let your voice be heard. To those on either side of the aisle who seek to stop the agreement, I would say, remember what the voters said on November the 8th. Get on with the nation's business. And to all of them, I would say, pass GATT. Pass GATT now. Thank you very much. Every president since the Second World War. Every time I talk to a world leader in the last six months, they have asked me the same thing. When is the United States going to act on GATT? The rest of the world is looking at us. So we have a golden opportunity here to add $1,700 in income to the average family's income in this country over the next few years, to create hundreds of thousands of high-wage jobs, to have the biggest global tax cut in history, and to fulfill our two responsibilities, our responsibility to lead and remain engaged in the world, and our responsibility to try to help the people here at home to get ahead. We need to get on with it and do it now. Thank you very much. Let me start with number two. Our, our European friends are always concerned about, we can no longer wait. The whole world is watching. I forgot which newspaper this morning had a very interesting story talking about the many countries in the world who literally are now saying publicly until the U.S. ratifies, they're not going to do it. When the U.S. does ratify, they will. We have got to exercise this leadership on a bipartisan basis. I think we will. I think the leadership of Mr. Gingrich, uh, Mr. Dole, uh, uh, Mr. Gebhardt, Mr. Mitchell, and of course the President of the United States is vital, vital to exercising that leadership. I think it will be done, and I think we'll all be better served because of it. Your stand or where's your view on, on passage of that at this point? My big concern about GATT has been the loss of American sovereignty. I think we have solved that problem. There are a lot of things in the enabling legislation that I don't like. The president has taken what should have been for me a very easy vote and made it a difficult vote. But the bottom line is I'm for GATT. This was negotiated mostly by President Reagan partly by President Bush, a very small amount by Bill Clinton. I don't like the part he negotiated, but the time has come to get on with trade, get on with job creation, and to approve GATT, and that's exactly what I'm going to support. The vote's going to be there? The 3,000, 4,000, good. They only got about five. And we're getting all this export mythology uh, and all of these other things about how it's a tax cut and it's bipartisan. And that President Reagan started and Bush did it. They've been working on it for seven or eight years. But seven or eight years ago, we had the Cold War and we had the sacrifice to keep the alliance together. Now we've got to, by gosh, build back our own economic strength. That's the big change they don't want to recognize. Is that a kind of protection?